The Tecna ProLite, or the GTI ProLite in the UK, was introduced to the North American market in 2011 and is a popular spray gun based off its heavier counterpart, the Tecna Pro. The ProLite was quickly embraced by many paint manufacturers and distributors and has since grown the Tecna brand to include dedicated Tecna spray guns for primer, base coat, and clear. Now, I've used the Tecna ProLite with a wide variety of coatings since its launch and have always been impressed by its versatility. Developus is one of the rare manufacturers that either supplies or provides an affordable option of including multiple tip sizes and air caps. By having a 1.2, 1.3, and 1.4 fluid tip, you can quickly modify your gun to suit the needs of whatever product you might find yourself needing to spray. It can handle base coat, clear, and sealer without a problem. You're also given the choice of three different air caps that can change the droplet size, providing different fluid flow that will work better with certain products and in different climates. The ProLite fan size can go as high as 14 inches when using the HVLP air cap, or 13 inches using the high efficiency caps. The body of the gun is comfortable to hold, sized appropriately, and has a scratch-resistant durable coating that keeps the gun looking like new for a long time. The only criticism I've had on the gun's construction is the inclusion of a baffle behind the fluid tip, which is another part to clean, and I have occasionally needed to replace it due to failure. Attached to the baffle is a seal, which can also wear over time. What makes this gun most successful is that many techs find the learning curve for the Technipro to be minimal. The material speed and spray pattern create a delivery system that's easy to develop a feel for, which makes this gun a great choice for beginners. The feedback from the community has been overwhelmingly positive on the Techna Pro Lite, and my general take is that it can do everything well, but nothing exceptional. For instance, it can absolutely lay down metallic colors blotch free, but some dedicated base guns, such as the Develbus DV1, can do this with a bit less effort and reduce recoating, which will save on material. Having said that, there are many professional painters that given the choice would prefer to do everything with the ProLite. The included Develbus digital gauge is a nice touch for the gun and initially is easy to read. However, they are difficult to remove overspray from and aren't overly durable. Many technicians, and myself included, have had to replace a few of these over the years. The price point on the ProLite has always made this gun so much more attractive. At around the $500 range, this gun can do everything you'll require and has been thoroughly tested by professional painters from all around the world. What do you think of the Technic Pro Lite? Have questions or suggestions? Leave them in the comments section below and thanks for watching.